90s, wow. early to mid 90s when I lived out there. So. Okay. So we're probably about the same age, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Let me put it this way. On Friday, I'll be out of fours. Oh, no, really? So you're, yet, you're, you're, yeah. Okay. Oh man. Okay. Well, happy birthday. Thank you. That's cool. Looking what are you going to do to celebrate? Take the day off. There you go. <laughs> Have a nice long weekend. That's yep. good. Enjoy it with my kids. Absolutely. That's so. what you got to do for sure. I haven't looked at the forecast for the upcoming weekend, but yeah, I haven't. It's going to be a little colder, but still yeah. no snows on the ground. So we'll probably go mountain biking or something. Oh, there you go. Where do you guys go mountain biking? So we live on the south side of Eau Claire. We are five minutes from Lowe's Creek Park. Oh, cool. Okay. Lowe's Creek's in the top 20 best places in the United States to mountain bike. Hey, can you guys hear us now? Hey, we can hear you. Can hear you. <laughs> can't see you, but we can hear you. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the mayor? Okay. <laughs> Waving over there. <laughs> okay, is she gonna try to get in? She said the system isn't working for her, and that must be shot. Okay. All right. All right. Can everybody hear me? Yep. Yes. That's hard to believe. Um, all right. Uh, it is Monday. March 8th, 2021, and I'm gonna, at 6.18, I'm gonna call the Prescott regular city council meeting to order. We'll take roll call. Bailey? Here. Rob? Here. Tom? Here. R? Here. Josh? And uh, Marina's on her way. Yeah. Muted, Josh. Comments. <laughs> <laughs> Public comments, anybody? On the phone or online, that would like to speak to the council on anything on the agenda. Now is the time to uh, speak up, state your name and your address, please. Oh, yep, of course. All right, hearing no public comments. Just make a note of who approves the minute. You okay if I keep going? Yeah. Okay, no public comments. We're going to move on to the next agenda item, which is the consent agenda. Regular city council meeting minutes, February 22nd. Ordinance February 22nd, Planning Commission meeting minutes of March 1st, cash balance and budget year to date, accounts payable, payroll, and receivables. I'll make a motion to approve. Second. Uh, motion. Motion Bailey, second Rob. Uh, to approve the consent agenda on the five items listed. Is there any other discussion on the motion? If not, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Next up on the agenda is uh, reports or standing committees, and it's the health and safety. Next, uh, first item on the agenda is a report from the chief of police. Go ahead, Eric. Um, just real quick, just wanted to go over some numbers that we are seeing. Um, Last year, we had 4,962 calls for service. Um, that's a 642 call decrease from 2019, which was 5,604. Um, COVID had a lot to do with that. Um, I did put kind of a moratorium on traffic stops and unnecessary contact with the public. So that kind of has um, a little bearing on why those numbers went down. Um, some some of the numbers that did go up though, uh, suspicious vehicle persons, we had 370 calls for that last year where we had 252 uh, in 19. Juvenile complaints, another big one. Um, we do have the SRO, so that you know factors into that. He's up there a lot more proactive. Uh, 144 last year, 88 in 19. And then as you can see, um, I don't think you guys have this, but traffic stop numbers. 1,488 last year um, to the 2,380 and 19. So that was a number that we really dropped because of the COVID. Um, one of the big ones, um, the DC disorderly conduct fights, unwanted people and assaults last year, 129 back in 1967. So that's gone up considerably. Uh, domestics, they ranged about the same and burglaries and thefts actually went down for us. 
And I'd like to, you know, attribute that to the number of officers that are out on patrol right now, um, trying to keep that down. Some notable cases from 2020, we had that burglary arson cover up. Um, that was cleared by arrest. I don't believe the DA has charged that yet. Uh, there was a misunderstanding or a miscommunication between some offices that I'm not really sure what happened there, but it was um, cleared. And then as most of you all know, the suspicious device that was found down by the um, post office last year, uh, we did clear that with an arrest and he has been charged. A um, couple other things, uh, search warrants. Um, we've done three search warrants now at 803 Kinney Connect, two of those involving drugs and the other one uh, as a result of investigating that bomb that was found down by the post office. So I've started the process for nuisance property on 803 Kinney Connect. And that's all I got as far as um, an end of the year report for the police department in 2020. Any questions? I think really what you're seeing is a lot more things that you have to do a lot of investigation on. Right? Yeah. 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 So, and that's, and that's when you look at the, the difference between the traffic stops from 19 to um, 2020, there was almost a thousand less traffic stops we made in 2020 than we did in 2019. But if you look at the amount of cases that are getting investigated, the crimes are starting to be Uh, my investigator is also the school resource officer, so the investigations are, you know, kind of being done by the officers up to a point to where they can complete it, and then it goes on to the investigator, um, and then he works on it as best he can. So the the number of crimes are going down, but the level of the crime is starting to go up where it's taking more manpower and more resources to start investigating these. Um, I can't give you a number right off the top of the head, but I believe there was well over just uh, probably 300 or so man hours, if not more in that burglary. And then in this, the uh, bomb that was found down by the um, post office, by the time warrants were written, um, phone dumps were done, et cetera. There's well over 150 to 200 man hours there too. So that's where we're sitting as far as how the caseloads are going and so on and so forth. All right, anybody have any questions for the chief? How are you, uh, Eric? Uh, what's happening on the weekends in, in the bars downtown um, as far as, you know? Fights. Yeah. Lots of fights. Yep, COVID fights. Even with Minnesota opening up 50%, there's been, this weekend we had a decent one. And when I say decent, I mean involving people with um, sig significant injury. Um, I believe two weekends ago we had a fairly large one or it was the weekend before that um, that involved six or seven people and injuries that required hospitalization, so. Wow. Are, are people being overserved? Is it just people are just crazy right now? I mean, I don't know. I think it's a little bit of both. Mm -hmm. So True. I did have a conversation with the um, one of the owner operators of Boat Drinks, um, and he's assured me that that's going to turn around here um, when he takes that over this month. So we'll see what happens. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I think it, we should also know we are back to 100%. So they right. have, they have 100% occupancy now. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. If there's nothing else there, we'll move on to the next agenda item the variance request for legal planning for Gulf fuel tank. Who wants to handle that one? Uh, he you got to keep going on what your issues are from your report, Chief. Please. Your, no, you, that's down further. Oh, that's down further. Sorry. Yep. Okay. Sorry. Okay. After that, is um. So I sent you out. There was a request for an above ground gas tank, and um, the 
fire inspector and the fire chief actually, don't worry about it, actually did a really good job of checking all the codes and, and doing all of that. And so, um, as you can see, they denied it. And the Andersons have been made aware of it. And I'll send them all of the documentation, but we just wanted to make you aware if you get any questions on that. Great. Any questions for James? Oh, yeah. Good, good. Yes, it's from the length of where it's at from the um, the tracks, also the, the housing that's down there. Um, there it has to be a certain number of feet away and it's really Without close. No, no, so Okay. Sorry, Maureen. We're having, okay. we're having computer problems up here. All right. And it, anybody else have questions on the Leo's issue? More of an FYI. Yep. All right. If not, let's move on to the next agenda item. The meeting with the Prescott Days Committee, Monday, March 15th at 5.30 p.m. That will be for the Health and Safety yep. Committee. And I'll get out an agenda. I just had the mayor look at stuff today. So we're good. What is, what's the date on that again? May 15th, next Monday. March, March 15th. March 15th. Next Monday, March 15th. Oh, March. I'm I sorry. You said May. You did. Oh. <laughs> and then we'll start with an MA. <laughs> and it'll be 5.30? 5.30. Okay. That's for our Health and Safety Committee. All right. Next item on the agenda is the Finance Committee. Maintenance project with the Police Department building not budgeted. I think the chief is going to present this again. Yep, I am. Me again. Um, so the first thing here is uh, the furnace. The furnace in the the original police department side has now finally went kaput. Um, I did talk to Dennis. He tried to come up and fix it, ordered a part for it, um, and based on what he's telling me, it's been. Um, band-aided for three years. Um, so I got some quotes. I got two of them, one from Prescott Electric and one from River Falls Heating. Um, I think this is in your packets. River Falls Heating came in um, extremely low, uh, well, lower than Prescott Heating. Did I say that right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I did speak with Mike over at Prescott Electric um, regarding his quote, let him know that he was significantly higher um, and he did indicate at this time it would be better off if we went a different direction um, due to some circumstances that he's going through right now. So the only quote left then is the River Falls heating and they're saying to put in a new single stage furnace, a four ton 13 sear and a coil, uh, everything total $6,950. Okay. 